We meet again in the lecture session with Madam Hida. For this time, Madam will give a lecture on subtopic 3.2, Speciation. The learning objective of this lesson is, at the end of the lesson, students should be able to define the biological species and state the processes that leads to speciation. Students, do you know what is species? Species can be defined as a group of population whose members have the potential to interbreed in nature and produce viable and fertile offspring of their own group, but they are unable to produce viable and fertile offspring with members of other population. Do you know how many species are there? We do not know because there are about 2 million species have been described. And students, do you know what is speciation? Speciation can be defined as the process by which one species splits into two or more species, which involving evolution mechanism and adaptation. Formation of two species from a single species occurs when a population becomes reproductively isolated from other population of the species. After watching the character of Scrat, a tall squirrel that lived during Ice Age in Ice Age movie when I was younger, I've always had a weird fascination with squirrels. Also, I think they are super cute and I find it is so interesting how different yet similar they are. The antelope squirrels in Arizona are an example of this unique diversity. 10,000 years ago, when Arizona's Grand Canyon was formed, it created a geographic barrier which became the big physical barrier between white-tail antelope and Harris antelope squirrel. One population of squirrels had become two separated populations that could no longer reproduce. Students, do you know how many modes of speciation involve? There are two modes of speciation. First, known as sympatric speciation, and second, namely as allopatric speciation. In sympatric speciation, the two populations located within the same geographical area, without geographical barrier. Whereas, in allopatric speciation, the two populations located in different geographical areas with geographical barrier, such as river. These are the differences between sympatric and allopatric speciation. First, in sympatric speciation, it occurs due to intrinsic factors such as structural, physiological, and behavioral. In allopatric speciation, it occurs due to geographical barrier such as mountain ranges, glaciers, river, or lakes. In sympatric speciation, the two isolated population located within the same geographical area, whereas in allopatric speciation, the two isolated population located in two different geographical areas. However, Sympatric and allopatric speciation share the same features as below. In both speciation, the isolated populations adapt to the new habitat. Secondly, 
reproductive isolation occurs in both speciation. And lastly, gene flow is prevented in sympatric and allopatric speciation. Students, do you know how the process of speciation occurs? There are four processes that lead to speciation. First, known as reproductive isolation, which involve prezygotic isolation and postzygotic isolation. Second is genetic drift, which involve bottleneck effect and founder effect. The third one is hybridization. And lastly, adaptive radiation. So that's all from Madam Hida. Thanks for watching.